Oh, girl, let's get into Irv Gotti, okay? Let's talk about Irv Gotti real quick because it appears that this man is being sued, okay? He's being sued for SA, all right? Now, they're saying a Jane Doe plaintiff alleges the co-founder of the um, Murder, Inc. records caused her into unwanted SEX on multiple occasions between 2020 and 2022. Now, this is him being at his big grown as age, this was just two years ago, and you out here um, trying to finesse and stuff? Some coup de trois? What's a really going on with that? Okay, so we got to um, we gotta talk about it. So give me one second here. I just want to check some things. Okay, bet. All right, so let's get into more. So they're saying that hip-hop, uh, Irv Gotti, hip-hop, whoever he is, um, Irv Gotti, Def Jam executive who first signed DMX and later fostered uh, Ja Rule and Miss Ashanti's careers and also was over there smashing on Miss Ashanti too, all right? He got him a new lawsuit, all right? They said he was sued by a Jane Doe um, on July 11th, according to the lawsuit obtained by Rolling Stone. The woman alleges that Gotti abused her in a sexual way um, um, on multiple occasions, starting in 2020 after they met through a mutual friend at a poker tournament. And she agreed to join him on a vacation in St. Martin. Now, how soon did the damn vacation come after y'all met? Now, after flying her to St. Martin, Gotti coerced the plaintiff into having you know what with him. And Gotti specifically threatened the plaintiff that he would send her home if she did not comply with his demands. I would have just had to go to hell home. Let me go and get the hell up out of here. Now, God is specifically threatened plaintiff that he would send her home if she did not comply accordingly. And due to his power and influence in the music industry, um, the woman says she entered into an abusive two year relationship with the producer. Why do I feel like this may not be the first time I'm hearing this? Now, they're saying that during this abusive relationship, Gotti demanded the plaintiff perform unwanted certain acts, um, often berated and scolded her. The Jane Doe claims that Gotti forced her to perform oral. Um, in an elevator of a Four Seasons hotel in Miami in January 2022 and in an Uber during a subsequent trip to Atlanta that same year. I do not put this past him at all. Um, I also feel like there could potentially be some, uh, some hotel camera elevator footage. So we will have to see. If, I mean, I don't really want that to come out because then y'all going to be exposing that lady's face or something like that. But um, I do wonder if there is some hardcore evidence um, of that in that elevator. Now, as a result of this, the woman says that um, she had an abusive relationship with the man. She suffered emotional and psychological harm for which she had to be committed to a psychiatric ward. Girl, the woman further alleges that Gotti had been slandering her to his vast social network in and around Los Angeles. Now, attempts to reach Gotti were not immediately successful on Tuesday. They said the woman is seeking uh, compensatory damages to be determined at trial y'all think Gotti gonna be able to settle this out of court I don't know if Gotti got it like that I really don't I don't know if God I don't know <laughs> girl ain't that something now she suffered a lot they said she is she really has this is what her lawyer is saying all right. With the Me Too movement, women feel a little bit more empowered to speak up and tell her truth. OK, or their truth. Gotti is 54 and you too damn big and grown and got daughters of your own to be out here acting like this. All right. Now, Gotti has worked with many of the biggest names that we don't care about at this time. They're saying that um, the record label laundered one million dollars in drugs and drug proceeds for a convicted gang leader um, who had been facing up to 20 years if convicted. He was unfairly targeted. Or whatnot. So there's that. Okay. Not many details at this time, but they are accusing him of um SA. SA on an ex girl. And I feel like even though she's Jane Doe, people gonna end up doing enough research and they're gonna find out who this woman is. And I don't know if he's gonna try to pull a ditty to where it's like, oh, well, in order for this, you know, lawsuit to move forward, this person's gonna have to tell exactly who they are. And I feel like when you do that, that is a way for you to thoroughly or continue to embarrass that person and inflict whatever pain and cause them to be harassed online um for whatever reason, you know? So 
we'll see if they're gonna if they're gonna be able to keep her as a Jane Doe or if he's gonna try to get her to um come to the front. But I don't put nothing past none of these folks. Mm-mm. Sure don't, sir. And while you been over here having your neck on the shanty and not wanting to release her masters and do all this and do all that, and you still bothered and pressed and doing um documentaries or docu series all last year, still talking about her, keeping her name in your mouth and feeling away, but not I don't even think she was really a part of the docu series, okay? Still having my girl tied the hell up. Well, guess what? She's tied the hell up with somebody else, and that is Mr. Nelly, okay? Um, and it looks like not only is she pregnant, I don't know when the babies do, but I'm sure it's coming. She's also married to that man. Shout out to Ashanti, honey, that done got married and got pregnant and everything. And now they about to have their own reality show. I'm going to tune into it. I want to see the dynamics of Miss, uh, Mr. Nelly, Miss, um, Ashanti and his children. Cause I'm sure they really like her because she was a part of their life earlier on. I will hope that they like her when he had Miss Jackson on the show. And he was doing a show with his kids. I liked it. I really did like Nelly's show. So I'm hoping that it's similar to what it was given before he stopped doing reality TV and stuff like that. And I wonder how his daughter is doing. Because I think his daughter went off to college and stuff. So I just, I'm excited for this. Like, where is it going to be shown at? Is what I want to know. I don't think they have the details. They just said sources tell them exclusively that newly engaged singer Ashanti and him have landed a reality show. I don't know if it's going to be on BET, which is where I think it was the last time, or if they're going to do We TV or what. But I'm ready for it. I can see it being ready probably either the end of this year or the top of next year because they're probably filming all of this, you know, pregnancy, her being on tour, the delivery of the baby and stuff, and how, of course, he feels being a parent all over again as I'm sure his kids are either all grown or closer to being grown and and Ashanti with her first child so I'm loving it love this for Ashanti as long as they're happy I'm happy and I feel like he came correct in a sense after all of these years because y'all dated for 10 years there's no need to date even longer and play games what they just got back together what a year or two ago and then here it is they're 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 growing so congratulations to them now i did feel a little bad but not completely bad for miss jackson okay because miss jackson you know wanted that man wanted to have babies and everything and it just did not work out for her and i just feel like he was always a better fit with the woman he he's with now miss ashanti now him and miss jackson were good but i ain't gonna lie we never really heard of him actually like physically abusing Ashanti or anything I don't even think I really heard that he cheated for real he may have but I don't recall really hearing that a lot I could have sworn years ago when they got together him and Ashanti had got had a baby like they were pregnant and I think she may have miscarried or something um and then I think shortly after that like the relationship you know ended but I also now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like Irv may have had some involvement in that relationship ending or whatever but um, I just feel like he was always a better fit with her. But let's see what Miss Jackson had to say, because she kind of touches on it just a little bit. I guess space to see maybe will the space bring us back together or do I need the space because I just need to rip off that Band-Aid. So and initially I wanted the space or the break to rip that brand that band-aid off so but no like no it will nothing bad just sometimes people don't work out people grow apart like this isn't working it happens you know right it just didn't work out All right, so y'all heard her, and I agree with her. Like, it just didn't work out. She sounded like she needed that space to, because I feel like she may have needed space, and this is my opinion, not a fact, you know, to really assess the relationship and whether she was really getting anything out of it. I don't think he proposed to her. I don't even know if marriage was in the future. They didn't have no kids, and she probably realized I'm only getting older. He ain't trying to advance. Let me just go ahead and cut my losses. Give me the space that I need. And that space between them led to him going back to, miss ashanti okay so um if she's happy great so now she can go on and find the person that's going to be for her and she can move forward um 
or whatnot. Okay, so good luck, girl. Good luck to you and everything, honey.